In this quick video demo, we're going to take a look at a PasteJet scan pack solution for shipping to retailers. To make this simple to do on your own, we're going to go to Tools, API, Samples, and use the PasteJet Samples page for the API to send in the shipment, just like your ERP would. A good sample to pick is number six with items in quantity not packed. I like to keep a couple tabs open so you can demonstrate new functionality like this. So here we can copy the order, jump to another tab, and then begin scanning. First, we'll scan for a global search and then scan in the order number. With our order identified, we can activate multi-level scan pack, scan in our first pallet, and start scanning items directly onto the pallet. Our iPad Air is serial tracked, so we'll capture a couple of those numbers. So if we pause and look closely at this for a minute, on the left, we have all of the unpacked items. On the right, we have the handling unit we're constructing the pallet. And in the middle, we're scanning items and boxes and master packs and self packs onto the pallet as we build it. We can scan to close the pallet we're working on and hover over it on the right hand side here to see what was in that pallet and then scan in our next container, which is the next pallet that we're going to build. Now with this pallet, we're going to move into what's called subcontainer mode so that we can scan in master packs and other types of quantities onto this pallet. First, we'll scan in some loose items like we did before. We can scan in individual items. We can also use scan codes like we're doing here where a quantity of two or more is automatically entered when we do the scan. Now in my warehouse, I have master packs on the shelf in various quantities. I can scan one of those master packs and they will automatically be added to this pallet. You'll see a closed box down at the bottom so I can scan several different master packs. If I hover over the boxes, I can actually see the master pack quantities for the same item. Now I'll scan some additional loose items onto the pallet so I can mix my master packs and my loose items or self packs and items with cereal all on the same pallet. You'll notice that along the way, if we make a mistake, the screen will turn red, we'll get a loud sound, it will tell the user you, you picked the wrong item, the wrong quantity uh, for this order. So we're validating the quantities and the items as we construct our multi-level uh, structure for my retail paperwork. What you can't see easily in a demo like this is that my GS1 or UCC128 labels are printing incrementally as I go, as I build the pallet for the items and the master packs and the self packs that I'm putting on the pallet. Our labels and paperwork support both PasteJet document services as well as bartender integration to get not only the individual labels, but also your pallet labels and paperwork. Before we close up here, we can hover over the pallets we've constructed, the handling units, to see the contents of each of those pallets. And then we can go ahead and close up the packages and rate the shipment. We've done all the work so far with barcode scanner without touching the keyboard. We can continue that by scanning to rate shop. See here that RNL carriers was the lowest cost in this example. We'll go ahead and ship that. And that's it. We have all our GS1 UCC128 labels. We have our pallet labels. We have our bill of lading. We have our packing list. Well, that's it for this quick demonstration of PageJet multi-level packing, a solution for faster, easier, more accurate retail compliance.